Hi, Feminines. Northern Light Seer here. I want to bring a reading for my Feminines and check in with her and see see how she's doing on her journey. Um, we are all on a different timeline, so just keep that in mind. This could be have already happened, currently happening, or predictive, okay? So just keep that in mind, but uh, as of today, I, I want to check in and see what the current energies are for our Divine Feminines today. So first thing I'm going to do is pull an affirmation, okay, from the opals here. Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. An affirmation, please, for Divine Feminine to help her through her journey. This is about the journey of self-healing and spirituality, okay? Self-love. Bottom of the deck. Shine your light, gifts and talents. You were born with your own unique set of gifts and talents. Pay honor and respect to these qualities, then go out and share them with the world. Feminine, you have a talent that you need to share with the world. The world wants to see you, okay? Especially if you can make it to where it doesn't have to be lucrative, but um, that does help. You can do what you love and make money. Hey, okay. We're gonna go ahead and keep that one out. All right, let's get no, let's get let's get one more. Let's get one more affirmation from Divine Feminine, please, Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Guides. Success. Let it happen for you. Your prayers and intentions have been received. Now, allow for the movement of circumstances to occur so that your wishes can materialize. So, Feminines, you've already been manifesting and manifesting and putting your intentions, setting your intentions, making it very clear to the universe on what it is that you want and what you're trying to do here. Universe has heard you. Now, we have to, now it's time to just kind of go with the flow and that is the energy go with the flow release control of having to know the outcomes or having to control the the outcome of any situation it let go universe has control and the longer you try to hold on and fight and keep control of certain situations the more resistance you're going to get because universe has a plan if you set an intention with universe and then turn around, change your mind, and then change your mind, and then go back, and then change your mind. Universe gets confused. You got to stay consistent. Stay consistent. That's how universe is going to know what you really want. We have to listen, right? So when we put our intentions out, and we're looking for a sign from universe, we got to be willing to listen intently generously look around and see the messages that life is giving you heed the voice of your higher self listen to the wisdom and life experience of others so those nudges that you feel in your gut that's your higher self that's your intuition guiding you telling you which which way to go listen to it it is time to take a breather Go with the flow. Release control. Set your intentions with the universe and then let it go. Um, I don't know if you've seen it back here, but I made a box. It's I call it my spirit box. And what you do is you write down on little pieces of paper your intentions, dreams, wishes, goals, right? What you're setting intentions for. And you put it in here. And then let spirit take care of the rest. You don't have to open it. You don't have to do anything. This is also my moon box. The only thing I do is I take it out on the full moon. Along with my crystals and my moon water. And, you know, it's a manifestation tool. And 
it's working. I just put this together. Um, gosh, I don't even think it's been, I think it's been two weeks, maybe three. I'm not going to say what's in there because that's private, right? But I would recommend making a spirit box because what it does is it puts your intentions out into the universe and out of your mind. You can like, you know, that helps you be able to release control. It's in there. The universe is taking care of it. You don't have to do a thing after that except work on yourself. Okay. So it is time to take a pause, a breather. Hang back, gather yourself, resting even briefly will allow profound insights to arise and give you the energy you need to make it to the finish line. It's important to rest when you need to rest, okay? Don't, you cannot overwork yourself. Let it be, trust universal wisdom, embrace the unknown, let there be some mystery, you don't have to know everything. You, there's some things universe doesn't want you to know and, that, and you won't know it. Not until universe is ready for you to know it. There's a bigger picture than the fine than the, all the tiny little details that you're sweating. Okay? And there is a big change happening right now. Embrace it. Release control of knowing the outcome. Make sure to just keep following your heart. It will never steer you wrong. If you can't trust yourself, then who can you trust? Okay, you got to feel safe in your own arms. You got creative projects going. Focus on that. Be open and curious. Never cease to wonder. All right. Beautiful messages. Beautiful messages. Let's go ahead and pull from the Moonology. Feminines are highly affected by the lunar phases, especially if you're an intuitive. So let's see what the Moonology has to say. For my Divine Feminine, hold your vision at the bottom of the deck. You have a vision, you have an idea, still have my bee spirit here, hard work pays off. You may not see, be seeing it right now, but as long as you keep putting one foot in front of the other, you're laying down the groundwork for success. And it will happen for you. Just got to keep keep doing whatever it is you're doing. Even if it's little baby steps, it's at least a step, okay? Small steps lead to bigger steps. Hold your vision. What else, Spirit? What else for Divine Feminine? Balance, spirituality, and practicality. It's all about finding the balance between spiritual health and what's lucrative. What can, what's going to pay the bills, right? You could be wanting to make it to where your spiritual practices are what pay your bills. Blending the two together. Beautiful energy. Okay, we have a lot about practicality here. Okay, we're, we're still at, we're at the tail end of Taurus season here. Your dreams need a practical plan. So, remember to be smart about pursue, pursuing your dreams and goals. Okay, Spirit will tell you what course of action to take. Just always remember you are good enough. You meditate and contemplate. There's that Pisces again, Pisces energy. It's all about finding balance. Okay. So this is a new deck. It is called, oh, I totally don't even know what it's called. Hold on, I'm gonna get the box. It's called Cosmic Guidance. 
I've flipped through it a little bit, but this is the first time using it. It's beautiful deck. Okay. For my feminines. Messages for my divine feminines, please, spirit. This is the deck that the feather came in. Yeah, um, if you watch my last reading, the one below this one, you'll know what that message is all about. And I would highly suggest everyone watch that video, masculine or feminine. Bottom of the deck, we have forgiveness. Set yourself free. Healing, the healing journey starts with forgiveness. Forgiveness, most certainly in particular, forgiveness to ourself. We have to be able to forgive ourselves. You can't, you can't beat yourself up for not knowing then what you know now. All you can do is take what you know now and move forward. Forgive yourself for making mistakes. That's what, that's what we're here for. Okay, that's how we learn. Forgive yourself. Set yourself free of the negative self-talk. Okay, that's not going to do you any good. That's a manifestation. That is casting. Just because nobody else can hear it doesn't mean universe don't hear it. If, even if it never comes out your mouth. Okay, we have caution. Keep your guard up. Keep your defenses up with your energies. Okay, I think this is speaking to don't be getting your energies tangled up in some web. In, so, in some web of karmic that you don't want nothing to do with. Okay, you don't need to be having no part of it. Use caution. Use discernment about who's who you're allowing into your energy field. And if you happen to encounter a negative energy, just cleanse when you get home. Sage, hold crystals, all of the above, whatever it is. Drink moon water, okay? What else for my feminines, please? Don't lower your defenses. We have guidance. You are being divinely guided. Spirits, send in messages. You just got to be open to receive. We also have the star. Blessings, inspiration, and time to shine. You have, you are extremely intuitive. You could be an Aquarius. But you also, you're sent here. You were sent here to go through a healing journey. And then... You're also here to spread the message to help others along their healing journey. To give guidance. People look to you for guidance. Love it. You're a healer. Or you're being called. This is all about healing. You're being called. This is and this is a this a journey is all about inner healing, self-healing, inner child healing. Healing of self. Okay, so that we can ascend and so that we can raise our vibrations and help others be a guiding light. The star. You could be right a rising star. Thank you, Spirit. I just heard that. Rising star. That's why you just got to put that one foot in front of the other. Because you are extremely talented at what it is that you do. 
You just got to get out there. Be You're talented. Nobody else does it like you. You're unique. You have a unique way of doing it. Whatever it is that you do. And you're going to be successful at it. You will. You're a rising star. You just don't see it yet. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. You will have success. Bottom of the deck with that hard work. And look at this. Be spirit. Okay. This is out here for a reason. Oh, and then there's also a bee spirit card in this deck, and I'm going to shit if it pops out. I'm getting ready to grab it next. Hard work, dedication, perseverance is what's going to get you the success that you're after. Keep working hard, feminine. You're queen bee. All right. Commitment and perseverance. Stay committed to self. Hold your vision. You've got something great. Whatever it is you're working on, whatever idea it is that you're thinking about doing, do it. Don't, don't hold yourself back anymore. You will be successful because whatever it is, you're, nobody else does it like you. I just love this entire deck. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and grab Sacred Forest. Let's see what Sacred Forest says. Yep, I'm pulling a lot of oracles, guys. I am. I do have some tarot. I'm going to pull some tarot, too. For my divine feminines, please. And I know you've heard me say this, but if you haven't found it yet or don't have one, Peach Moonstone. And Black Moonstone is the divine feminine stone. Okay. Get a hold of it. Get you some get you some its energy is so lovely all right we have dragon power stand in your power feminine you are so damn powerful your intuition is on point with this star and this and this crystal ball here your intuition be on point and you already i mean you're already spiritual All right, let's see what else. Spirit messages from Divine Feminine, please. We have Maple Spirit, Generosity. You're a generous spirit. You're a generous person, Feminine. And, of course, we wouldn't be divine if we weren't. You have a pure heart. Your, your heart is genuine. You want to help people. You're generous with your love. Red tree, right? Red, love. Okay. What else, please, Spirit? Ancient oak spirit. Lots of trees. Strength. I associate trees a lot with connecting with your ancestors. And look, there's a portal here. There's a doorway. It looks bright and sunshiny uh, through there. Your ancestors are here to guide you and give you and give you strength to get whatever this is that you're wanting to do off the ground to help you. 
find strength in your ancestors. They're all around you. You are the phoenix. You're learning how to transmute all of your experiences, pain, hardships, traumas into something beautiful. And you're going to fly away. And when that happens, there's usually no turning back to what you're leaving behind because there's nothing left to go back to. Let it burn. Anything else for my feminines? Anything else for divine feminines? Anything else for divine feminine? Transcending with the Pegasus. Transmuting, transcending. You're elevating. You're ascending. You're leveling up. You got the Phoenix and the Pegasus. And then look at this. There's a unicorn on this picture. You are unique. You were born with your own unique set of gifts and talents. Pay honor and respect to these qualities and go out and share them with the world. Pay honor to your uniqueness. Every single one of these creatures is a unique creature. There's something different about you. And whatever it is that you are, ta whatever talent that you have will get you somewhere. And it's going to get you somewhere you like because nobody else does it like you. There's some, this, you, people are going to want to see what it is. Whatever it is you're doing, they're going to want to see it. They're going to want to buy it, whatever it is. Okay. They're going to want to hear it. They're going to want to um, wear it. Whatever it is you're working on. Manifesting dreams. That's what that spirit box is for. Okay. Manifesting. It's a manifestation tool. And let me tell you. It's working. I would highly recommend it. Okay. Well, the bee spirit did not come out, but I did see it earlier today, and it blew my mind. <laughs> it did. This uh, spirit never ceases to amaze me. Never. Um, oh, yeah. I want to go ahead and pull from Crystal Medicine real quick before we get into the tarot, okay? Messages for my collective, please. You're headed in a, an amazing, beautiful direction, feminines. You keep working on and doing what you're doing. Doesn't matter what kind of flack you get. Doesn't matter if how if, if no you know if somebody don't like it. Keep going. Doesn't matter what you do. You're always going to have somebody that doesn't like it or agree with you. So what? It, it, you could be the Pope and somebody's not going to like you. Don't take any offense. It's just an, an example. Okay. And no disrespect to the Pope at all. All right, here we go. I am Presence. This is spirit. This is universe. Making themselves, making the universe is making itself known all around you that it is there. Signs and symbols left and right. I am presence. This is also what universe is trying to get you to realize that your energy is everything. Your presence, your unique gifts and talents. 
your vision, your spirituality, your hard work, your guidance, your healing, your transmuting and transcending. You're making a presence for yourself and you're going to get noticed. Absolutely. It's all, yeah, look, healer at the bottom of the deck. We have dance. Dancing is very good for your body. It's a very, it's an exceptional healing tool to move your body. Listen to music you like. Very therapeutic. Okay, I do it every day. I cannot go a day without jamming out and belting out and dancing out some tunes. Okay, it makes me feel good. It raises my vibration. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull. We have treasured memories here at the bottom of the deck. This is the tarot of the, uh, uh, see, no, oracle of mystical moments. Under my umbrella. This is spirit holding an umbrella over you, protecting your unique pink badass, right? Look at you. Look how unique and different you are. Spirit's got you. Okay. There's no need to worry. Under my umbrella. What is that Rihanna song? Under my umbrella. Ella, Ella. Sorry, I know I can't sing very good. We have the house of flowers. Whatever it is you're building is going to... Is, it, it's beautiful. It's going to be solid. Okay, you, you can take you can be able to take this to the bank. Right? You you're building a solid foundation for something beautiful. And it's just literally just going to burst out the seams. Probably when you least expect it. Hold your vision. What else? It's funny. Those actually kind of look like peonies. And I just bought pink peonies. I'm actually going to go out there after this reading and plant, put it in the dirt today. Oh, look at these, like a bird. Like a bird. Okay, so this, I, this is very personal. This is my own personal, but this card is very, very significant to me today. And so I'm extremely happy to see this card show up in this reading. You're like a bird and it's free yourself. Set yourself free like a bird. And that is when your manifestations start coming in. Okay. And it starts with forgiveness of self and others. Forgive them for what they know not and forgive you for not knowing then what you know now. Okay? It's all about forgiveness. Forgive them for what they not know. And forgive yourself for what you didn't know. Alright? Forgive them for they not know what harm they cause. I'm not sure if that's exactly how that saying goes, but that's what I heard. Yep, treasured memory still on the bottom. New direction. You are headed. Yeah, feminine is feminine is ready for new, new. New love, new life, new attitude. Okay? Feminine is not interested in looking back at anything in the past. Feminine is not interested in looking back. Okay? Feminine wants to be looking forward. Feminine is taking steps forward. Feminine's not looking backwards. Feminine's not turning around to see who's coming after her. Feminine doesn't care. Feminine is moving on to what she wants in life because and it doesn't matter. She feminine doesn't care how different, weird, unique anybody thinks she is. 
Because no matter how you look at her, she's fucking gorgeous. And when you're in this kind of energy, you're going to have haters. Haters. And you know what? Haters be hating. And they're going to do everything that they can. The karmics will do anything they can to diminish your self-worth and your confidence. Do not let them. You've come to, you've done way too much healing. You've come too far to look back and worry about what some hater is d saying about you or doing. Doesn't matter. Forgive for what they know not and move on. When you're in this energy, you're going to be getting lots of attention. And that includes negative attention. Do not respond. Just keep going. Hold your vision. You are on to something here. Okay? You are. You are. You're headed in a whole other direction. You are not interested in anything from the past. Not a past person. Not a past love. Not past trouble. Not any drama. Not friends. Not family. Doesn't matter. If it doesn't serve you, you're cutting them loose. And you're going your own way. Because you know that what's meant for you will never pass you by. You can hold on to the memories. You will always have that. Always. Forgive. Move on. Just because you have memories with a person does not mean you got to stay there. Does not mean you got to stay attached. Uh -uh. Hold on to the memory and move on. Now we get to get into the tarot. So I felt called to use this deck. I have only used this deck a couple times. I've never recorded with it. It's a beautiful deck. It's just been sitting over there. And I decided that since I'm doing, you know, I wanted to do a Divine Feminine reading. And this is a beautiful deck. It's, I think it's for Divine Feminine readings, to be 100% honest. This is the Muse deck. It's by the same creator as the Lightseer Tarot. Carol Ann. Uh, something or other. It's a gorgeous deck, and so we're going to give it a whirl for my feminines. Angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. Let's get some messages for divine feminine, please. So this deck has only, it doesn't have any masculine energy in it at all. And so that's why it's my Divine Feminine deck. There's not any masculine energy in this one. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the Magician. You are a powerful manifester. Okay. You're, all, you're manifesting your dreams. Where is it? Where is it? Hold your vision. Hmm. There we are. This. Blessings, inspiration, time to shine. Oh, here it is. There we go. Manifesting. Spirit box. Okay. You have... Fire, water, earth, and air. All the elements, everything you need within yourself to manifest your goals and your dreams. Beautiful energy. Okay. Messages for my feminines. We have the three of inspiration. Uh, the inspiration is wands. So three of wands in reverse. You're done waiting around. You're not, you're, you are done waiting around for things to happen. No, you're, you, you're making things happen for yourself. You're not waiting around no more. You're done. You're done waiting, waiting, waiting. You're not waiting for shit no more. No, no more waiting. You waste, you feel like you've wasted enough time waiting. And what are you usually waiting for? Other people, right? Yeah. Don't let other people hold you back. 
You are unique. And damn it, you are gorgeous. Okay. We have the Five of Voices. That is the Five of Swords. So, like I said, when you are in this kind of energy, people are going to be trying to talk some smack, start conflict, talk shit, whatever. Drama. To get you up out of this energy, to hold you back. Don't let that happen. Don't even participate. No reaction is the most powerful reaction. And also, not every action requires a reaction. Okay? So, when you... you oh, you, this, this might be conflict. People all pissed off because you're done waiting. You're, you're leaving people behind. Yep. Yep. You... You're going to piss some people off when you leave them behind because you're not choosing to stay stuck with them. Because people like that don't want to actually do any work. Doesn't you know, for themselves, for anyone else, particularly for themselves, right? They, and so when somebody starts doing some work and making something of themselves, that is when people start getting jealous. This is jealousy, this is conflict, this is petty, this is argumentative, this is combative. Someone might try to get you to come out of pocket. Yeah, two of inspiration in reverse. Two of wands. Not wait, you're done waiting, done planning. You, you have a clean slate here. Look, all these cards have an intense amount of graphics on them. This one is the only one that's like blank. Okay. There's a telescope. And she, and you can see the view. She's looking out. It's blank. There's the, the world is your oyster. Like you can do. You can fill this up with anything you want. This is your world. You can paint it how you want to. And don't be worrying about what anybody else wanna, thinks you should do. This is your world, not theirs. And you're done. You're sick of. You're sick of this. You're manifesting for yourself. You're done. You're le you're leaving. Like I said before, these cards even came out. I, I know what I'm feeling. You are leaving the past in the past, and you are not looking back. Doesn't matter what comes back around. Mercury retrograde going to be bringing some past people back around and you're not having no part of it. No parts. No parts of it. No. Uh -uh. Hell no. To the no, no, no. Hell no. Fuck on out of here without she. Like, no. We ain't got time. Ain't got time. We're busy being beautiful and working on our goals and our dreams and fucking working on ourselves and healing. If you're not a part of that journey, get on. Queen of Swords, right? Did you uh, you hear me getting all worked up? Mm-hmm. Queen of Swords. Cutting people out left and fucking right. And you're standing your ground. Hold your vision. Stand your ground. It's going to piss people off. There, it might cause conflicts. But you know what? You're done being held back. You want to let the world see you. You've got something to offer. And people may not like it. People may not, not everyone may not agree. But you know what? That's what makes us diverse. That's what, that's what, what why diversity is so important. Not everybody's going to like the same thing. That would be boring as fuck. Like, you know, and people don't realize that. Oh, you're not just like me, so I hate you. I mean, pff, fuck you. Go, go be a hater somewhere else. Like, go somewhere else and do that. You know, you know someone's got to come to tell you specifically that they don't like what you're doing. Um, they've got a lot of work to do as a person. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, slow and steady slowest moving night in the deck right but look how gorgeous 
You got that victory wreath around your neck. This, okay, this is the slowest moving knight in the deck. Yes, he is. But he, this knight is the, usually the only one that makes it to the finish line. Because he's smart, takes his time, she's practical, she uh, thinks about every step that she makes. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. I saw that card recently. Where was it? I just saw it. I can't remember where I saw it. I saw it while I was shuffling. Slow and steady. I think it was this deck. Yeah. Mm hmm Slow and steady wins the race. This is moving, taking your time, being methodical about what it is that you're doing here. Because you want to make sure you do it right the first time. Messages for my feminine, please. We have the three of pentacles and the two of cups. This looks like new love. New love. Partnership. Working together. Coming together. This could be uh, working together and and with your friends, even maybe maybe you and a friend or some friends are going to go into business together. Maybe you're working on a business plan. Maybe you're just helping each other heal. You're there for each other. It's your support group, your tribe, your couple of close friends that you will have hold, held on to through this journey. Because this journey is all about cutting out what doesn't serve your highest good. People like the Five of Swords that want to cause, create, create conflict, right? Messages from my feminine. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we are 43 minutes in already. Muse of Voices. This is the King of um, Swords. So we have the Muse of Swords and the Queen of Swords out here, both. You are extremely clear about what it is that you want. You're not going to back down. You are honest. You're fair. You're not just, you're not going to be mean to anybody, but you will if you have to. Okay, you will if you have to. But you're honest and you're fair. And you are extremely strategic and I picked this up here with this knight of wands you're being extremely strategic about what it, about this plan that you got going on here move in silence don't tell people your ideas don't tell people your ideas okay you can run into this people will steal your ideas they'll trash talk your ideas they'll make it to where uh, it doesn't come to fruition, okay? Do not tell people your ideas until it's published, until it's out, until it's done, whatever it is. Don't tell people shit. Nuh-uh. Don't do it. Messages for my feminines. Move in silence, okay? We have the Four of Swords. Healing. You're on a healing journey. Take the time. Okay? Take the time to heal. It's not a competition. It's not a race. Okay? This knight knows it's not a race. He's taking his time anyway. It's like the tortoise and the hare. Okay? The hare loses the race because he goes so fast and he tires out and has to take rest. Right? The tortoise moves slow and steady and cruises right on by the hare while he's taking his nap. It's the same thing. 
slow and steady wins the race. Yes, this is a horse. He, this horse, she can move fast if she wants to. But she's not. She's being strategic. And she's resting when her body tells her to rest. Okay? Get, I'm hearing hydrate. Make sure you drink a lot of water. Take your spiritual baths. Make a nice bath. Make the water smell nice. Bubbles. Get your, uh, get your rose petals and your candles and your wine. And just cleanse. Cleanse. Four of Swords is all about healing. And we are on a healing journey. That's why we're here. That's why you're here watching me today. I hope, trying to better yourself, right? We have the chariot. Yeah, you're moving on. You're positive. You're moving forward, okay? And yes, all my cards are right up. They do come out in reverse when they're meant to, okay? The chariot is in the upright. You are positive mo movement forward. You're getting the fuck on out of there. You're not, you're, you're not looking back. Oh, that's the analogy I was going to use. When you're driving your car, chariot, are you looking out, looking out the rear view mirror while you drive to see where you're going? No. The windshield is big for a reason because that's the way we're going. The rear view mirror is small because we only are supposed to look at that every once in a while. You're not looking in the rear view mirror to see what's behind you. Okay. Not real often. The, the windshield is big for a reason. Because that's where you're supposed to be looking. Messages. We have the three of cups. Definitely. This is, I got this friend group. It's like you only have a couple solid friends at, by the end of this journey. And that is true. I can attest to that. And if you're doing the work and you're on the journey, you're going to notice that. Friends are going to fall away that don't belong in your life. One by one, friends, family, co-workers, lovers, what have you. The ones that don't belong beside you, the ones that don't clap for your success, the ones that don't want to help lift you up, the ones that aren't there for you when you're quiet, those are the ones that are going to fall away. Oh, and people that hurt you on purpose. Okay. The smack talkers, the ones that talk about you behind your back, it'll fall away. And you're going to be left with one or two, maybe three solid friends that you know you can count on. That you know aren't going to stick ten swords in your back. Okay. Yeah, we have the tower. And it came out in the upright. You are... You're getting the signs from spirit and you're cutting these people out and letting them fall away one by one by one. You're not resisting this. And then we have the Page of Swords in reverse. What did I say? Smack talk. Drama. Shit talking. They came out together. You're, you're cutting all of this out. And whatever this is that you're doing, you're going to get a lot. You're going to get a lot of attention. And like I said, negative attention comes with that. You just got to let it roll off your back like water drops on a duck's back. Just let it roll off. Okay. Do not let it affect you. Kicking these towers down with these people that don't serve you, that don't serve your highest good, that are just going to cause you problems and chaos and upheavals, you're, you're giving them the boot. And oh boy, they're going to be pissed. Page of Swords reversed. That's, that's shit talking. And they're going to be watching, too. See her adjusting her glasses and her face in the reverse? This means that they're watching you and talking shit while they watch you laughing, thinking that you're dumb, thinking that you ain't going to make it. Whatever it is that you're doing is stupid. You're making the wrong choice. Ha, ha, ha. Look at her. No. And that's exactly why these towers need to come down. 
The cool part about it is, is if they are watching and you're on a, on a platform, they're giving you views. So keep watching, keep laughing. I, they don't hurt me none. Okay. All right. Let's see, nine of swords. Don't sweat it. Don't let this, these people in this energy get you in this energy. Don't let them take you out of your beautiful energy that you are have worked so hard to obtain. You've spent enough time here. You've spent, you've had enough sleep this, sleepless nights. You've had, spent enough time stressing. You've spent enough time worrying. You've spent enough time trying to fix people. You've spent enough time crying into your pillow. Don't let these people with their shit talking get you back here. That's exactly what they want. This is you. You're beautiful and you're magnificent. And you're unique. And you're different. And that is okay. We should embrace our unique our uniqueness and our differences. That's the thing about the world these days. Everybody wants everybody to look the same. Why? We're all different. I'll never understand it. I don't like you because you look different than me. What? They don't make no damn sense. Uh-uh. They don't make no damn sense to me. We need diversity. Ace of Swords. Or Ace of Wands. Sorry. Ace of Inspiration. You have a fucking amazing idea. Something that makes your heart feel passionate. Do it. Do not stop doing it. Move in silence because obviously you have people around you that are watching you just waiting for the moment. Just waiting for a slip so that they can blast you or talk shit or whatever the fuck it is that they do. This is karmic energy. This idea is unique. Only you a lot of people probably do it, but there's something about the way you do it. It's different. Hold your vision. Remain confident. You have talent. You are, you have talent, collective, feminine. You have, you're so gifted. Use it. And if you're already well on your way keep going keep going keep going keep going keep it pushing keep it pushing it you know if you're trying to work for yourself it takes a while for it to actually get off the ground don't lose hope do not lose hope we have the six of wands there you are look at you look at you rising star look at this Keep pushing. Keep it moving forward. Do not look back. You are a rising star. You're going to be having the attention. Look, she's carrying the star. She's got a damn star in her hand. If you are currently already have an online platform, it's about to blow the fuck up. Keep pushing. You're, there's star material here. You have fucking talent. You got talent. The world wants to see talent. Okay? And the only reason why people act like this is because they don't have it. And that's plain. That's simple as that. Simple as that. Look at this. Spirit, thank you. Look at this. We have the world and the Use of pentacles. This is the king of pentacles. This whole new world, these cycles that you're closing out is going to open up an entire new world to you. And you are going to be financially set, stable, secure, solid. Do not stop. I don't give a shit what these people say. 
I don't even know you. And I don't give a shit what these people say. They can go to hell. That's okay. Because they're going to have their own towers. Karma's a bitch. This is going to be you. And this is going to be them. And you don't have to do a fucking thing. Except rise. And that's the damn truth. That is the damn truth. I need to use this deck more often. I love this deck. It's beautiful. Look at this. Devil. Landed right here. On top of this nine of swords. Devil looks like a karmic to me. You, you got a bitch here. The devil's around. And that's... That's these people. Your haters. That want to keep you stuck. Here in your nine of swords. Have, can't sleep, restless, upset, stressed out, anxious, anxiety, analysis, paralysis. They want to keep you stuck right there. Ah, hail to the not. No. You're closing out chapters. This isn't about cycles anymore. This is about whole ass chapters. I think what you're doing is you're done with this entire book. This book of life that you've got going on. This life. I think you're done writing it and you're ready to pick up the pen and start a whole nother book. A whole nother novel. A whole world that's different from everything that you've already experienced. You're taking the lessons from those experiences and you're taking those into the new world. And your Ace of Wands is what's going to get you there. You will be successful victorious, shining in all your glory, rising, rising star, I keep hearing it, and you're going to be financially just fine, all right guys, let's see, Ooh, yeah, four of pentacles right now, you're, right now you might be in the four of pentacles, keep working, keep putting in the work, and you'll be here before you know it, Spirit, don't be telling no lies here. Uh-uh. Yeah, you're in the middle of your transformation right now. So be patient with yourself and remember the forgiveness. Forgive others for what they know not and forgive yourself for what you didn't know then. Okay? And that, and that is how trans transformation takes place. That is how you transmute your pain and your experiences, and that is how you transcend and elevate. Yes, baby, yes. Um, I think I'm going to leave this here. This was beautiful. Feminines, you are on the right track, and you are headed in a whole nother direction. Whole nother direction. Fly like a bird. Be free like a bird. Free yourself. Set yourself free. Okay? And brand new blessings will come your way. Even ones you didn't expect. Alright. I'm going to leave this here. I wish you guys the best. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, love, and light.